The identity landscape has changed and there's a paradigm shift taking place. Identity security is no longer an IT efficiency or compliance tool. It's core to securing the modern enterprise and it's an accelerator in the digital transformation. According to our latest research, the future of identity will be defined by four elements. Integrated approach, frictionless access, dynamic trust modules, and universal IDs. Now I'd like to bring Rex and Dharma from Accenture to come up and dive deeper. So Rex, let me ask you a question. How can identity analytics provide intelligent governance to reduce enterprise risk posture and meet the compliance needs for regulated industries? I think what we've seen a lot of clients you know, struggle with over the years is, you know, they, when we, we go in and we talk, you know, you can use identity analytics to, to fast track your, your access requests, do more, you know, role-based access control. They've always struggled and said, we have bad data. And I think one of the things that identity analytics can be used for is to actually clean up that data and identify in the groupings of people in a meaningful fashion where you can start from a place and then clean up versus trying to go in and do it to be a spreadsheet or, or ask HR to change everything to get you know, the new attributes that identify these things. One of the things that you know, we've seen where analytics has, identity analytics has popped in is the ability to drive a lot of cost savings into an organization because what they're able to do is you know, figure out these analytics. And if you have a high confidence in those analytics, and analytics give you those risk scores and the confidence type scores that say, you know, these people should get this access, you can, in some organizations, you can automate 70, 80% of the access without ever having to go in to a user interface because, you know, to, to grant that access because it, it could be auto-granted because you have trust in the analytics. And you touched on a couple of things that are really important, and Dharma, I want to follow up with. You, you talked about AI. The other thing you hear a lot about these days is zero trust. So what, you know, what role do you see identity and access management playing in a zero trust for enterprises? So cyber, uh, you know, uh, cyber um, threat is a $10 trillion business. And again, uh, this is one of the key things, right, on every CISO's mind saying like, how can I uh, secure my business, right? And, and again, zero trust is something that is promising to, you know, put the fort or castle around, right, the enterprise to make sure there are no data breaches. And again, zero trust is something that is used a lot, but the thing is, it's, it's not an endpoint, it's a journey to get there. And for the journey to be right, uh, I think they need to get their identity, you know, managed right within that. I think one of the things that we've seen is, you know, zero trust means a lot of things to a lot of people, but it, it has to do with, you know, how people access their network and access applications. And, you know, so they can go from point to point. So it's saying, with this identity, I trust this person to go from here to this application. And the session stops there. Whereas, you know, before, once you got in, you could go east, west and, and travel throughout the network. And so identity is, is really a cornerstone principle of zero trust because that's the starting point. Uh, you know the access that you're granted, and the and the uh, you know and the ability to authenticate and get in is, is super critical. And then you know I was talking to another CISO. And one of the things about zero trust is data is a huge part of that. And what access and entitlements you have to access that data is super critical because you don't, if you're looking at zero trust, you're looking at where does data fit into that. And data is where all the, you know the crown jewels sit for most organizations. And so having a good identity infrastructure is super critical to driving zero trust not only from the network access but access to the data as well. So follow through a little bit more on that. So right, Accenture, how, how do you guys play a role in help building out that zero trust framework? For your customers but, you know what we've started to do is look at how can we drive you know meaningful outcome based solutions for our clients as it relates to zero trust because it, it's you know you, you identity access management is a core component secure edge access is a critical component ne you know zero trust network access is a critical component you know what access a data person can have and so we've tried to say well let's figure out how we can go in and, and help clients drive that in, in a way that is meaningful and so what we're trying to do is say okay you know if we can go in and and take over these functions you know and, and build a model that could drive the cost savings saying okay let's say if you you know migrate to identity now to do your identity as a SaaS service your support contracts coming up with your legacy identity provider or or you, you know it you can you can build it into a time frame when the subscriptions or you know, support agreements expire so that you don't have to have people double dipping. And so if we can build the financial model in the financial case, we feel we can retire a bunch of legacy tools 
you know, build this modern architecture, you know, zero trust, obviously. And, and if we do this in that type of fashion, I feel like we can get our clients there in a journey over a, you know, a period of time versus trying to say, oh, it's gonna cost you $20 million to go do this now. We can build it out, drive that, build a business model that'll drive cost savings of 30 to 40% over you know, three to five years and, and get it modernized and automated. That, that's kind of where you know, the vision that we're painting right now for a lot of our clients. This is super helpful. You know, learning, you know, the identity analytics, you know, zero trust, what you guys can do for your clients is super helpful. So thank you very much for spending time with us.